Calculations in Power BI can be tricky. And one of the main reasons for that is that you cannot just point to other cells in your visual like you can in Excel. However, this might now all change with the new offset function. First, see how that works in Excel. So offset, you need a reference. Now here we are in the February row. Now I wanna go one row up, so minus one to go to the January row. And then how many columns do we wanna move? No zero and you see it returns the 16.3 we offset it by one so that we get the january value and if we want to calculate the difference then we can just point to the february value minus that offset value that gives us also 5.2 so now we can just copy down this formula and that's it so here we are in power bi where we have a matrix visual that shows the total sales by manufacturer just like an example before let's Create a measure and use now the offset function to offset these values by one, two, or three rows. And let's call this one offset manufacturer. Now still we need a calculate function. So calculate, and we want to have as an expression the total sales. So now the interesting part where we can use the offset function to take the total sales from the cells above it or below it. So from the manufacturers that are above or below the current row. Let's start typing offset. The first argument is whether we want to go, so items up or down. Let's say minus one. So one item down, one manufacturer down. And then the second argument where we need to define the field or the column in which we want to move our item. Okay, now here that is manufacturer. Now, how can we do that? I go here for all selected and then we can refer to the manufacturer. Then the third argument and that's the last one here we need to say okay how do we actually want to sort these manufacturers do we want to have them in ascending order or descending order okay so we want to sort them order them by and over here we can just refer to the manufacturer and we can put them either in ascending or descending order all right now let's take our measure and add it to our visual and you see now where we have cybrick so that's the second manufacturer it returns the total sales of Audiolog, the row above it and then here at the beginning we can simply say that we want to have the total sales minus well, the value from above it. So that kind of works. We have the differences between the rows. Huh? So if we have a look here at Cybrick, there we have 53.1 minus the 1.3 is 51.8. So that works. However, for the very first row, it's a little bit weird because there, well, the offset is blank. So it just returns the total sales. So maybe uh, you don't want to show anything for that specific cell. Then we can adjust the formula, which I will show you in another example. But before we go there, let's have a look what happens when we have another field that we add onto rows. OK, 